What's happening, y'all? This is Mr. Mark from the Alameda Point Collaborative Teen Center. Now, the teen center is a place where all the kids that live in our neighborhood come to hang out. We do activities. Uh, we do sports. We go on field trips. And mostly, we try to find ways to learn from each other, learn about each other, and be better people. That includes community service. That includes anything that the kids want to do, hey, I want to do it too. So today we're going to try to keep these activities going. I got something for you. Today we're going to learn how to make and how to play a flute. Now, I know you may have never played an instrument before, but it's okay, baby. I got you. I got you, baby. All you got to do is stick tight and hang with me, and I'll show you the ropes just like always, okay? Now, I guess the first question is, where did the flute come from? It actually originated independently almost everywhere on the planet. One of the oldest flutes was 36,000 years old that they found in a cave, and it's probably older than that. So how does a flute work? A flute works by blowing air into a channel, the air splits, and then it vibrates the flute itself. The actual process of sound is the vibration of air. You can make it go louder, you can make it go quieter, you can make the pitch go up or pitch go down. Here's an example. Did you hear that? You have to say do, 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 do. This is just a regular bottle and you can do it with any bottle. Now how many kinds of flutes are there? You can categorize it by where it came from, how you play it, what it's made out of, and what kind of sounds it makes. Today, we're going to be making a, a flute in the key of E major, and we're going to be making it out of PVC, and we're going to be blowing it from the side. That means transverse, and we're going to be making it in the style that they make in India. So you're going to need either one inch PVC, or you're going to need three quarter inch PVC. You're going to need calipers and a ruler. You're going to need pencil, so that way you can mark your lines where you need to drill it at. You're going to maybe want a clamp. You're definitely going to need an auger. Here's a hand one and here's an electronic one. You're going to need 10 and 9 millimeter drill bits and you're going to need a drill. And I'll show you how all of these things work. So one more time, here's the instructions. You can either make your flute in major or minor. If you make it from three quarter PVC, it'll be in G. But we're gonna make ours in E today. Oh, you're also gonna need a rubber stopper or a cork or something like that. So first, we're gonna measure our cork. And then we're going to measure a, a five centimeters away from the end of that. That's five centimeters away. And at that point, we're going to drill a hole at that very far edge of that five centimeter mark, five millimeter mark, sorry. Now, we're gonna go through and mark all of our places. And then we're gonna drill on the inside of those holes. Hopefully, hopefully really closely. We'll take our auger and we'll drill out all the excess. We're gonna sand it down till it's smooth. We'll pop in the cork at the end. And then if you have like any straight pieces, go ahead and take like a knife and just scrape those out. Now you have a flute that works. Now let's compare it. see about the flute that we just made. Almost two octaves, and I bet you if I practice. Now here's the minor version of it if you want to make the alternative. I bet you I can get that. 
Okay, here's how we hold our flute. I play left-handed, but it doesn't matter if you play left or right. What you want is the hand that's closest to your face to have an underhand grip. Pick any three fingers that your hand fits. And then for the far away hand, you want an overhand grip. You're gonna place it right underneath your lip. Now for that first sound, do it with no holes closed. Can you do it? Try it again. Let me hear you do it. Good job. Let's try it one more time. You say, right underneath your lip. Good job. Now let's see if we can have a competition. Who can play for the longest? I'll go first. Go. That kind of made me dizzy. Did you beat me? <laughs> All right, now let's try one hole closed. Can you hear the difference? Two holes. All right, now three holes. Four holes. Uh-oh, I missed. Even I make mistakes. I did it again. I just noticed my mistake. All right, let's do it right now. Much better. All right, now for the hardest one. Six holes. This is the hardest one. Yes. Got it. Can you do it? Pretty good. Now let's see if we can try our octaves. This is an overblown technique. What you do is you change the shape of your lips to make it tighter. That makes the high sound and looser makes a low sound. This one takes practice. Start on the low note, and that makes it easy. Work your way up. Can you get all of them? As it gets higher, it gets harder. All right, there's the last one. Ah, oh, I missed it. I guess I need more practice too. Can you do it? All right, now let's try to play along with a song. You can pick any song you want. Some songs will sound better than others because of the key that your flute is particularly in. But it is a lot of fun to try. Thanks for watching everybody. Can't wait to see your actual faces pretty soon. For all my APC kids out there, if you need me, I'm still doing office hours at the teen center and I'll try my very best to come visit you and maybe bring you a little something something from six feet away. I'd like to spend a special thank you 
to everybody at St. Mary's College, to everybody at Hack the Hood, to all of our volunteers who have done so much for us, and to you, to every one of the kids out there. Um, let me know if you want me to make a different topic. Whatever you want to do, I want to do too. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye.